Hey everybody, today I have my Milwaukee quarter inch drive ratchet. Uh, it's a uh, M12, it takes the M12 battery, which is the 12 volt battery. And what has happened on it, the, they call it the anvil has broken. I call it the head, but the anvil is broken. So we got a new anvil. There is the part number. Hopefully this is the proper anvil for this tool. So I'm going to show you how to change it. So let me get set up here and we'll get this changed out. All right, I dug the new anvil out of the package. And this is the paw right here that when you turn the knob, it switches from one side from going one way to going the other way. So you can see it's sticking out there. So what I like to do is I like to push it in and turn this so it's it's like halfway in between so there are those two pieces it also comes with uh the washer and a new snap ring so this one's got the snap ring right up front here so we're going to take a pair of snap ring pliers that i have going the wrong way so let me fix that all right now they'll push the snap ring out put those in the snap ring push it out there until it comes out now same thing here you want to turn the anvil around you want to turn the the tighten and loosen switch a little bit and then it'll start lowering out so here it comes there it is and this does look like the proper one so I'll go ahead and use the new washer then the washer comes out is there there's Okay, you want to make sure you get all the pieces out. You can see there's little pins. Here's one of the pins that goes in this hole here that was still up in here. So also what I like to do is I have some brake clean and a rag. I'm going to spray this out. Spray that out. This... On a lot of ratchets, this center piece will come out, but this one doesn't seem to be coming out. So I'm going to clean that up. Let's flip it over. And you can see it's just a, it's just a gear in there. So take your rag. Wipe, your, wipe it out. Get it nice and clean. All right. And now... I have one of these mini grease guns. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple pumps of grease in here. And now move that around. So here's the new anvil all set up with the cog in the center. And now we're just going to push that right back in. Now that is in. Now we have a washer. And the washer does have a tang on it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there is a there is a tang. So it, there's a tang that lines up on the new anvil. You push that on. All right. Do I have this in far enough? Yes, it is. Let me put it back up in the vise. Grab your new snap ring. load your new snap ring into your snap ring plier tool there we go and it slipped out I got it in there. Where is... I had a pocket screwdriver. Sometimes you have to compress these things down to get the snap rings back in. Alright, the snap ring has not engaged fully. Let me go get a... Usually what I'll do now is I'll put a socket and 
a hammer and tap on it to get the snap ring all the way in. So let me get that put back in. Okay, so to get the snap ring in all the way, I have a 12 millimeter socket. I'm gonna put the 12 millimeter socket on top of the snap ring, and now I'm gonna put the whole assembly in the vise and line it up. And what this does is it crushes these two pieces in and we'll put the snap ring in. And I think I got it. Yep, and the snap ring is now all the way in and seated. You can see how it's closed up it is. So let's uh, turn the head. So reverse. And go forward. And we have the new anvil installed in the Milwaukee quarter inch electric ratchet. These things are really good. I like them because this one's really small. It's got a small battery. You can get it into other places that you can't get the bigger ratchet in. So there you go. All right, everybody. There's how you put the anvil into a quarter inch Milwaukee ratchet. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. You can always do that in that corner. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my automotive and more videos.